just be a head? Just a floating Almost head? Floating heads. The audio listeners are like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's so cold, side note, in my room, which... You need to get a jacket, girl. Why don't you have a jacket? I put on my robe. I'm cold, so I put on my robe. See, my jacket is in that closet. If you are listening, you can't see it, but I have a closet behind me. Yeah. And if I open it, it's like an avalanche of clothing, mm. and I just don't want to deal with that. I'm so yeah, sorry. You could, wrap, you could do like the... Here, let's both do like the little shoulder. Toga. The like little toga, toga thing. Yeah. Like a toga. <laughs> I don't know if toga. mine. I don't know if mine's gonna do that. I don't know. I don't know. I I, mean, I think I can do that. Do a little like this. We're cozy. <laughs> Look at our like, this is like a barber shop. I think my haircut. Can you my haircut? This is also a Christmas okay. blanket. Ignore that. Just look at the fluffy Mine's white. Mine's white. Oh my gosh, I'm so aesthetic. I'm really on brand right now. <sighs> I'm just very sad beige mom right now. You are giving beige millennial to the max. <laughs> oh I'm my obsessed gosh. with that. I'm really obsessed with that, actually. I'm going to be maxless mom for sure. A little gothic, We're too. We balance each other out. We do. Like, I'm like I fantasy think, maximalist. I think my house- my house will be very like Art Deco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see like a little pop of like maybe mid-century modern occasionally yeah, for you Art too. Deco is modern, but like definitely just like clean, very like. Mm-hmm. Did you just hit yourself in the face with your headphone yeah. cord? <laughs> we'll ignore it. It's fine. Anyways, uh, welcome Anyways. to Music with Alex and Izzy. <laughs> So today, um, we look the same if you watch the other episode, but today we're doing something a little different. Uh, yeah. Today for you guys, same day for us. Yep. But we're going to be reading out some juicy r slash relationship advice. And when I mean juicy, I mean the one Juice. I have pre- prepared for you guys. It's long, so get some tea. Be doing an activity, maybe. Mm-hmm. Cleaning, laundry, mm-hmm. dishes, yeah. homework. Whatever you, whatever you want. Driving? I don't know. It yeah. is long Commute. and it's wild. And mm-hmm. even the poster said, buckle up. It's a long one. So yeah. So are we doing your super long one and then me to like medium shorter ones? Yeah. Okay. So do we want to do short, long, short? Yeah. Okay. So, that. so should we start with the one I read to you before? The, one, the title I read to you? No preparation right going in. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you want do we have anything more to talk about before we get started not really no i was just asking if you did i don't know if you did mm-hmm. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to know i, I was checking now. It. and yeah, I have brought a me liquid death. non-script uh I'm oh not liquid death out. sponsor us and sorry i already said your name yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i have a um can you guess from the can not the way you're holding uh, the can is like <laughs> <laughs> energy drink and lots of comment what your favorite energy drink flavor is because i need recommendations mm-hmm. you you probably know the brand if you're an energy drink consumer mm-hmm. so just tell me i want new flavors i'm getting tired of the ones i drink i've only had the orange one <gasps> i know Granted, it's i'm not a big energy drink person i like energy drinks though when i do have them mm-hmm. I just yeah. have them super often. I'm a I'm a I'm an iced coffee girl. I'm an occasional coffee girl. Mm-hmm. Has to yeah. be in the mood and from the specific place. Okay. Yeah. I much prefer homemade coffee because I I like sweet coffee. I'll be mm-hmm. I'll be singing my heart out too sweet by Hosier. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I cannot drink black coffee. I cannot oh, I take can. my whiskey neat. Mm-hmm. I oh, drink. I yeah, good for you. We are we are yeah. a duo. We are odd we, couple. We really are. Now, here's the thing. I love me some sweet stuff. Listen, I have a giant ass sweet tooth. But if you drank this, I think you would pass out. I think your blood yeah, sugar would spike I... so high that your brain would just shut down. Because <laughs> that's the thing. I like bitterness. I like that little in the See, back of your throat. You know, that little. I want it to taste like candy. Mm. See, with my alcohol, I like it. Tasting like candy. Drop. I, we don't drink. What yeah. do you mean? We're under 21. No, you know, hypothetically, you, allegedly. You know, I, just, I just don't know. Allegedly, they taste good. Alle- allegedly. allegedly. As I've heard. I've heard lemon drop martinis smack. <laughs> friends. I've heard friends. beer sucks. 
I not a beer. I have a girly. hypothesis that beer sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, I'm not a beer girly. Yeah, I we don't drink from before we're 21. Smell. What do you mean? No, we're great role models. Everybody, listen we to are. us. Also, we both turned 21 this year. Yeah, Me, we're gonna be a bit right? after you, but still. I'm turning I'm turning 21 really soon. Yeah, actually. your birthday's coming up in like two months. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Gabe. Yeah. You'll both be 21, and then I'll just be a child <laughs> for another. <laughs> Like yeah, but you know sports. what? When you do turn it, then we can go to all the fun little events yeah. together. We want to do like a little a collaborative twenty first thing. Lot of... Oh yeah, there's a mm-hmm. lot of things that I didn't know you had to be twenty one for. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of hotels because okay, so Gabe and I are booking a hotel right now for his twenty first. We're going to a convention down in Miami. Yeah. Um, and we were trying to book hotels, and so many of them are twenty one plus. Thankfully, he'll be twenty one <laughs> when we're there. But yeah. we were like, wow. We think it's because a lot of Miami hotels, they have alcohol in the rooms. And so they can't really be, like, just putting alcohol in rooms with minors in them. Um, also, it's also, like, that's just kind of, like, not minors, any, but. like, a lot of establishments. Mm-hmm. You have to be 21 over to, like, make reservations for anything. Hotel. Yeah. And, then like, renting cars. Like, at an airport, cars. you know, like. Do yeah, you so, 21 yeah, or 25, depending on up. depending on the they'll mark you up if you're under 25 sometimes. Isn't that yeah. wild? You want, you want state and everything uh-huh. and like the establishments company. and all that mm-hmm. too. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, food for thought, fun news. Uh yeah. so a lot of events like Ren Fair. You know, we're yeah. planning you know, it's a lot of 21 right plus there. things, which a I won't be 21, I'll be the only one not 21. Yeah. When we go. Which, you it's know, okay. I mean it's going to be a lot of other stuff. Plus, it's yeah. only two days, and there's no way we're going to be able to go to all of it. So That's fair. And there's a lot of events that are 18 and up, or everyone mm-hmm. can go. So, and we'll definitely go again, probably. Like, it's probably going to be so fun. So, yeah. yeah. And it's every year, so. Exactly. All- I mean, this year's the 50th anniversary, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Or, like, the yeah. 20th anniversary. Some, some big anniversary. It's, it's a yeah. big one. I'm so excited. I mean, we need to... We need to- we need to work, like we need to, you know. We might plan it, maybe. <gasps> she knows it goes to Texas Run Fair. Yeah, <laughs> and see how much she really knows. <laughs> yeah, how much do we really know? How much do we Truly. really know about Run Fairs? Oh my god, I, I just realized we can write off so many trips together, girl. Bestie. Yeah. We're going to Japan together now. No. It's official. I mean, that would be kind of embarrassing if I do go to a Renaissance fair when I'm studying uh, European history in college and I don't know anything. That that would be fair. really embarrassing. Also, if by like, then, I would out. yeah. Also, if my D and D podcast is out by then and I'm like still like I don't know anything, that would be also very embarrassing for me. Yeah, it's like so. I, I don't know. Maybe we won't. <laughs> we'll see. We <laughs> might not be like. Oh, we know it. We'll be like. Oh, we're guessing. She guesses it. That's our new. <laughs> That's she, our new title. I don't know. It. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, she knows it. Allegedly, she knows it. That's a good title. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good shirt. Anyways. Allegedly, she knows it. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, I'm hot. Allegedly, I Allegedly, know this. Allegedly, these tits are great. Allegedly. Yeah. Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully and allegedly. Obviously. Anyways, shall we dive in to yes. relationship advice? Okay, I'm gonna read you two titles, and you're gonna choose okay. which one we start okay. with. Okay. First one is one I already read to you earlier, which is sister-in-law did not invite me to her baby shower, and mother-in-law revealed why. Mm. Mm. The next one is. Wife claims she lost feelings for me because of a dumb joke. Okay. <clears throat> so, which one should we start with? Mm. I don't know. Dumb joke. That dumb one. Joke? That okay. one. That one is interesting to me. I want to know okay. what the joke okay. was. Mm-hmm. Pre-existing. Yeah. Cause I don't know. That one seems fish. It is a little fish. It's also from six hours ago. Oh, We've so there's not fresh much ones like verdicts. 
Yeah. Well, with these, there's a little less verdict. They do have 700 comments. So there, it's gotten a lot of traction in those couple hours. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll also be able to dive into what people's opinions are in the comments. But okay. Okay. Editing Izzy just coming in to give you guys a quick trigger warning for this story. He talks about miscarriages as well as postpartum depression and things of that nature. So if that is a triggering topic for you, feel free to skip to 28 minutes and 13 seconds to skip this story and skip straight to the next one. Anyways, enjoy. I'm in a bit of a pickle here and could use some advice. My wife and I, wife, 24 female, and then the original poster is a 24 male. Okay. Uh, recently welcomed our first baby into the world. Well, congratulations, first and foremost. Yeah. While we were getting ready to visit, her parents... While we were getting, to, getting ready to visit her parents, I made a dumb joke. Something pretty normal in our relationship. She put mixed-matched mix match socks on the baby and said, looks like... And I said, looks like you've already started dressing the baby like a mini fashion disaster. It was lighthearted. She got incredibly mad, refused to go, and said she'd lost feelings for me because of that joke. Okay, that's a lot really quickly. Oh. There's got to be more context to this. There's no way. Um, now she is so out of character. This was so out of character for her. We've been together yeah. since high school, weathered through so much together, long distance, the loss of a pregnancy, you name it. Wow. Okay. Oh. Um, we've always had a super healthy relationship with the occasional fight, but never anything serious. Yeah. I thought it might be postpartum depression, but I didn't want to jump to conclusions. That is very common. Postpartum depression mm -hmm. can cause a lot of mood swings, a lot of um, not feeling joy from the things. Child. Uh huh. Yeah. Not feeling joy from the things Brand you felt child. joy yeah. from before. Dealing with uh, having a baby dependent on you twenty four seven. Um, but I didn't want to jump to conclusions. I tried. Yeah. yeah. 24 is really young for, they already stuff. had a miscarriage mm -hmm. and they they have their first kid and they're married. That's really young for all this to be happening. Um, they were also long distance. So yeah. probably through college. Possibly. Yeah. That's very common, uh, for long distance, but, um, I tried talking to her about it, but she insists it's just since I made her mad. Okay, I even reached out to her mom. She agrees that it's strange and there's probably more to it. So here I am feeling lost and confused. Any advice on how to approach this situation? Could it really just be about that dumb joke or should I be considering other possibilities like postpartum depression or something else entirely? Any similar experiences or insights would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. There's already an update. So... Oh. What is your opinion before we get the update? For the update, I think it's something more. Because that be well, I was expecting, more. I was expecting a bad joke. Like I was expecting like actually, a weight joke, or yeah. like I was expecting maybe like an something. insulting, like maybe so like you know some people because sometimes baby babies come out looking a little busted. <laughs> it's like a little cone head <laughs> baby is like oh look it looks like a little alien. It's like yeah, exactly. I will and, divorce you, know, you now actually. That. Yeah, but. <laughs> Just like you're dressing up your baby as a fashion disaster already. Like, that's like a little funny. Like, that's just a little haha. -ha. That's yeah. not anything that's insulting inherently. So I would, yeah. I would, I would think something else is going she on. She must have been, okay, my theory. She was, that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. And he's been making little comments about little things like that and like jokes that she does not appreciate because she's barely keeping it together right now. Yeah, and so the in fact my, that she I, was like, I, like, she doesn't like have enough energy to put together outfits or really exactly care about how the that, baby is dressed. That, that yeah, been, like, uh, is like I bear, I barely have enough energy to be alive right now, and you're criticizing the fact I put mix match socks on our kid. I think that yeah. might be what it was, not that necessarily. Might be, yeah. yeah. Also, there might be pre-existing. Well, first of all, everyone goes through a massive. No. Oh, like when you have a baby you go through massive hormone changes when you have the baby because oh. you have double the hormones in your body um yeah. whenever especially if you're pregnant with a girl because you have double estrogen um and so your estrogen like plummets i don't know if they had a little boy or a little girl um but regardless you go through a lot of hormone changes when you have a baby sure. and so sure. it could also be that like there's just like 
a lot going on internally for her not necessarily postpartum mm-hmm. depression maybe postpartum depression but it could just be something that in about a month she looks back on and she's like yeah no i was just really out of it and i was yeah. on my like breaking point for those jokes yeah and it might just be something they need to talk about and have a conversation and like clear up what types of jokes are okay and not okay at this point in their yeah. relationship um but there's okay. an update. update. So update. Update. after apologizing again to my wife a while ago and expressing my regret over a joke, she opened up and things took a positive turn. She started okay. crying and admitted that she didn't mean what she said about losing feelings for me. And she was regretting it since, uh, since, but didn't know how to approach me about it. It turns out she's been struggling with feelings of insecurity about her role as a mother. Um, and it's been weighing heavily on her mind. She had a heart to heart and we had a heart to heart and apo- and she apologized for taking it out on me. I assured her that yeah. I wasn't upset with her and that I understood she's just overwhelmed right now and she didn't do anything wrong. I asked if the comment was hurtful and she said that while it might have been pretty silly, um, it while well, she said it might have been pretty silly, it didn't hurt her feelings. I don't know if they meant to say did because it's like, it seems like it did hurt her feelings for in the moment. Mm-hmm. But maybe in hindsight, she's like, it didn't hurt my feelings long term. Like it went away. Yeah. Um, we've decided to take some things uh, for us, say, take some time for ourselves tonight and leave the baby with my parents while we go out to dinner. It's important to support each other during this time. To those mm-hmm. who are quick to judge or criticize and start flaming me, I want to clarify that while the comment may have been ill timed, it obviously wasn't uh, the reason for the misunderstanding, which is why I was confused. I don't believe mm-hmm. one silly joke's enough to nuke any strong relationship. It was interesting mm-hmm. to read some of the judgmental comments after I got her perspective, though. Thanks for the others. F- thanks to the others for your support and understanding. Uh, there were a lot of helpful people that here. I mm-hmm. did bring up that I was concerned about her mental health, and she agreed uh, to getting screened. Um, and then there's a little second edit. Something I should have mentioned is that this is not her first pregnancy, and I've seen her deal with postpartum depression before. Uh, This didn't happen, but I've seen how horrific it can be. I didn't pull postpartum depression out of my ass to uh, uh, shrink responsibility. Um, Mm. Okay. So, first of all, happy it all worked out. Yeah. Um, Some of the comments kind of give uh, very much like the, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. This is not the first joke he must have made that really like set her over the edge um now i'm really glad they before i say any of this so happy they worked it out and Mm -hmm. they seem like they have a very strong relationship and that they're friends as well as significant others and so it feels like they are able to you know get through this they are very Mm -hmm. young to also be going through this and this not to be their first pregnancy um and so there's another element of that is like her frontal lobe's not done baking yet neither is his Um, and hormones can be crazy around that time, regardless of if you're pregnant or not. And a lot of times the dynamic of relationships change drastically for the woman and it takes the man a little bit more time to understand that. Mm -hmm. Cause like when you become a mom, you completely change Mm -hmm. and maybe their joking relationship that they had before has mm-hmm. to change because maybe yeah. she's not at a place where she can laugh Take off that jokes. stuff she's yeah. a lot more sensitive she said um, it herself like it it made her feel insecure about being a mom like she's not yeah. a good mom which is yeah. something that a lot of new moms go through a feeling like am i enough um mm-hmm. am i dressing them right am i feeding them yeah. the right way are they sleeping enough um are they eating mm-hmm. enough Am I changing the diapers correctly? Am I, there's like so many little things that it's like, am I parenting the right way? Like there's yeah. so many different things that um, when your partner then makes a joke that slightly criticizes it as much as it was not ill intended at all. Like there was no ill intention behind the joke. It can still be taken badly. Um, and I'm really glad they worked everything out. These comments though, they're kind of brutal. Yeah, no, I, I kind of guessed Uh uh-huh i kind of guessed uh there's a whole thread of comments here um these are all like one after the other responding to the last Mm -hmm. one 
um this has strong it's never just the dishes vibe so like he does this a lot energy uh response to that that's my thought she got the baby ready by herself and then he criticizes what she did respond to that she likely what? bought and registered for the socks or uh registered for the socks washed fold the socks pick them out of the dresser they go in wash the baby change the baby feed the baby dress the baby and then he pops in just to make fun of her for an extremely minor mistake it's almost equivalent to would be him spending every waking hour building something for her and then she pop, she pops in to drop insults when he accidentally hammers a nail an inch off where he meant to mm -hmm. um response to that i completely agree my mom always says if you can't be useful at least be quiet <laughs> okay i mean that's a little <laughs> intense um but yeah i mean there's, I say, there's definitely been times where somebody said something to me that's mm -hmm. so minor that i'm yeah. just like it just snapped because maybe i was already it, frustrated yeah, about it exactly so i do understand that but wow, okay, those comments are, those comments would make me cry. Not gonna lie. Yeah, those are a lot. Um, I'm really glad they worked it all out. Um, yeah. And, and you I, know, it is important. It sounds like they haven't had one-on-one -on -one reconnection time after the kid. Yeah. It sounds like they haven't had that. So also, I feel like- how much time has passed since the miscarriage? That's what I'm curious. Yeah. Or miscarriage, or they just said they lost a child. Wait, hold on, let me. Um, I think they said miscarriage. Um, first baby into the world. Okay, so they welcomed their first full-term pregnancy into the world is what that yep. sounds like. So I think it was a miscarriage. Um, yeah. It's just not the first time she's been pregnant. So she had postpartum depression after the miscarriage, which is like, she was probably depressed that she had a miscarriage as well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of them take it on themselves too. Yeah. They think that like, oh, I did something wrong to yeah. cause. Which probably would feed into the insecurity of being a mother. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, this baby is so important, like more important than regular. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this baby is more important than my own well being. You know, yeah. like there, it gets to the point where you're prioritizing your baby so far over yourself. And it's like, yeah, you're keeping this tiny human alive. It's hard. Um, uh -huh. That's why having a good support Kick system is so important. And like, single moms, yeah. oh my God, my heart goes out to every single parent out there in general. Because mm -hmm. um, you're trying to understand your kid. Because uh -huh. they can't use words yet, so they're uh -huh. crying and screaming, and you're just like, are you and you're just crying screaming? and screaming? It's <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like this. It's hard. It's very hard. Yeah. And like my sister's pregnant right now, and like I want her to always know that like I'm not just there to take care of her baby whenever she needs a break. I'm also there to take care of her when she needs a break. Mm -hmm. Like I will do her dishes. I will cook her food. I will clean her house. I will do her laundry or I'll play with the baby. Yeah. But like she carried that little baby for nine months or she's carrying this baby currently. Um, mm -hmm. But in this future situation, she would have carried that baby for nine months waiting to hold them. She yeah. wants to sit on the couch and hold her baby. She doesn't want to be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'll Take come over house, and I'll come over and hold the baby while you frantically clean for the 15 minutes I'm here. It's like mm -hmm. it would it's so much it's so much better sometimes to offer. Do you need to be taken care of or do you want your baby yeah. to be taken care of right now? Like, yeah. What way do you want this or to be? Even, even, you know, like something so small as like the mother going yeah. to get like a post-pregnancy massage to loosen mm -hmm. the muscles just, like you, you want know, me to take care of your entire house basically while you're haircut, gone yeah you know like go out and have a day where you can still have your kid you know like you can still have your baby with you and then you know you take care of like the pet or the house you know yeah. like just something or like, like that. hey i need to go grocery shopping and take a nap can you mm -hmm. take my baby for a couple hours yes exactly without question exactly. yes you know that kind yeah. of uh, support also if you make someone food clean the dishes afterwards that's like something yeah. if you're if you don't yeah. give them another chore to do <laughs> like yeah, i'm always just like if i cook mm -hmm. and it's like if my partner i'm like i cook you do dishes if yeah you do, if you cook i do dishes yeah but if you're like taking Offering care of, take care of like someone yeah sick, it's like or, you cook yeah. you clean yeah don't give them another chore to do if they yeah. if you if you're trying to take something off their plate by cooking for them 
Don't give them another tour. Yeah. Don't give them another tour. Um, okay, so this, I haven't read this comment, but it seems like a <laughs> lot of people agree with this. Also, for the comments that I was just reading um, that are like back to back, 4,000 upvotes to the first one, 2,000 to the next, 1,000 to the next. So like a lot of people agree with oh, like okay. the like, he, his jokes were probably like not just one joke. It was probably a lot. And she did not yeah. need that in that moment, which it kind of seems true that it was the breaking point for her in that moment. And she didn't not, she doesn't not love him. It was just like a lot, you know, Yeah, it was just a lot all at once. Um, but there's a comment here that a lot of people agree with, but it's more, it's not as many as the other. It's 700 upvotes. Um, but okay. it seems a little bit more understanding from the looks of it okay. at least um okay. i'm the type of person who deals with stuff like this until i can't and then i blow up mm -hmm. i try explaining along the way but the but the type of person who keeps going with dumb jokes quote unquote often doesn't listen to me so mm -hmm. to them my blow ups are out of left field they never they never are though i've warned i've asked the person to stop i've explained i don't enjoy it i've used all my words but they are rarely heard for whatever reason has she been telling you that she feels criticized by you um has she mentioned how she doesn't feel heard uh has she told you before she doesn't find those jokes funny because those are all <laughs> statements i've made that seem to go in one ear and out the other by people who makes joke make jokes at my expense also yeah. in general jokes are meant to be funny how was your statement funny to her she's been working her ass off to get herself ready the kid ready and all you can do is criticize that gets old and fast um she's got someone to take care of for who she's got someone to take care of um and they need her time and attention she doesn't have time to deal with being made fun of about a fashion choice for a baby uh please mm -hmm. really look back to see if this is actually out of the blue i can almost guarantee it isn't i completely agree with this comment as well of like yeah. this probably is not the first time that this has been mm -hmm. a problem it's just the first time she's blown up about it yeah and you just haven't been fully seeing it or she hasn't been communicating it fully um mm -hmm. but i i'm really glad they had their conversation and they had their date night and they talked about everything mm -hmm. and i really hope they work it out um, yeah but like same. the responses to this are like the op like i hope the op really reads and absorbs this and then talks to his wife um a lot of people agreeing with that uh yeah and then like another person is like death by a thousand cuts like you probably joked and joked and joked so much that mm -hmm. it like is the last straw that has almost four thousand upvotes so yeah, yeah i could i completely understand where these commenters are yeah yeah i'm yeah. glad that he didn't blow up in the comments at like the original poster mm -hmm. didn't blow up in, uh, in the comments because i've seen that happen before where it's like it seems like he was really understanding yeah he was like too. i get it um but the comments were you know harsh a little yeah. harsh <laughs> um a little yeah. quick to judge I mean, sometimes it's right it. it's um right but it wasn't it, it wasn't the sole reason why they had the blow up it was like there was more to mm -hmm. it so yeah. yeah okay so, okay yeah. so Talk mine's a wife. lot <laughs> mine's, mine's turn from that not yeah. as serious i mean it's serious but like quick trigger warning for this one is sexual acts incestual acts slash comments and sexual assault so if any of those are triggering topics for you feel free to skip to 50 minutes and 56 seconds to skip this story and go straight right into the next one enjoy Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay my 31 female boyfriend 30 male his brother 28 male wants us to have a threesome help <laughs> yeah okay. so cheers to that one <laughs> boys <laughs> hi reddit tldr my boyfriend's brother wants to have a threesome with us and it's not the first time he's tried to fuck a third with his brother. How do I navigate this relationship going oh, forward? Shit. <laughs> okay, first of all, I need more context. Second. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right off the bat, um, before you dive into right the intricacies. The bat, I mean... Oh. Um, I, I think the only thing I really have to say <sighs> is wow. And your grown age, 31 and 30. That's 
also the fact that this isn't the first time um yeah how does his bro the, the questions i have i have so many questions that i'm sure will be answered by the full thing um it's long it's long, it's long. Yeah. um lengthy i guess i guess um my advice would be to get the fuck out of there <laughs> yeah i would that's say that's really I all know. i could say here's the thing about it too that's just weird to me and that might be answered in here yeah. why hasn't the brother said no that's what I'm saying. Enough. That's one of my questions is like, how what down. are the what's the what is your boyfriend's mm -hmm. opinion on this? Yeah, cuz I mean, listen, listen. I I only have a brother. There there's no two brothers in you know. So I haven't to me that dynamic is just I don't know, like if uh -huh. my But like here's I the only thing I compare it to is like I have a sister. And if yeah. if if the sister approached Uh-huh. You know, no. No, no, no. No. If, okay, I can I can so okay. Weird. I can say as from the OP's perspective cuz it is a it is a woman mm -hmm. who is dating a man yeah. whose brother, yeah. okay? My my fiance has two brothers. Mhm. Mm they're very different ages so like this is like it's really hard to apply this but I'm imagining an alternate reality that they're old they're like more close to his age. Yeah. That is fucking wild. <laughs> And no, <laughs> I would be a little like, okay, I'm never spending the holidays with you ever again. No, like, I think I would just be have so. To break up. Have to break up. Uh -huh. I'd be like, either we're breaking up or you have to not talk to your brother anymore. Like, if it was like a running theme, especially not a one-off joke, a running theme. Yeah, that if he's is what. Yeah, no. Because he says okay, that it's like no. a running theme of like he wants to have threesomes with his brother and then they're yeah. that's wild. Okay. Boy, do I have some twisted tea for you. Buckle up, it's a long one. We know. We know. We're ready. Okay. I thirty one female began dating Frank. Thirty male. About Frank. one year ago. We texted for a few weeks after we matched, met up, and we've been inseparable since. He is sensitive, respectful, and loving to everyone in his life, and I absolutely adore him. Okay. Oh, okay. Whenever we have disagreements, we sit down and calmly talk about it. We have great communication and work hard to meet each other's needs. Frank has beautiful, healthy relationships with a circle of friends, and it's been a pleasure to integrate into the group. Wonderful. Okay. Frank is also very close with his brother Daniel, 28 male. They talk <laughs> on Discord regularly <laughs> and share a lot of very specific interests. Okay. Due to the pandemic, they both moved back in with their parents about two hours away from any major city. When I invited Frank to come stay with me at my apartment in the city, Daniel expressed that he wanted to live with us at that point. Frank and I weren't ready to sign a lease together, and I didn't know Daniel, so I said no. Daniel asked Frank again, but we stood firm in our decision. Okay. Frank, Daniel, and I would chat on Discord occasionally while we played video games online together. <laughs> I think that Daniel was not happy that his brother's moving out. So I frequently encouraged Frank to talk slash do things with Daniel, and I would play games with them I wasn't super into. I started to notice some odd behavior with how Daniel treated me in the game. The game is kind of like Minecraft, where you spend hours gathering resources to make one item. We would farm all night, and then Daniel would ask me to make him an expensive item with all the resources I had just gathered. He would also ask me to illustrate his character in full color with shading for no compensation. The description was sexual and weird, but I followed the framework, save for the part, save for that part. Okay, so the sexual part. Mm -hmm. Took about 20 hours, and I did it because I wanted us to get along. It was a little frustrating, but no big deal considering how important Daniel is to Frank. Mm -hmm. Then it got weird. We were playing the game as usual, then Daniel started talking about sex. He started talking about his kinks and then asked Frank and if he would be our unicorn, as in the third sexual partner to a threesome with his brother, but as a joke. I was taken aback, <laughs> shoved the discomfort down and wrote it off as a misunderstanding on my part. Since then, he's frequently used language to insinuate us all being sexual together. Things like OP and I are little sluts <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
to Frank in a group chat. I can't tell you how many times I pretended this wasn't happening. I never felt like he was interested in me or that it was about me at all. I started to wonder if he had some sort of fixation on his brother. Oh! Okay. Oh my God. A couple of months ago, Frank and I started looking for a bigger place for the two of us. Daniel asked again if he could move in with us and again not taking no, and repeatedly asked. I thought Daniel just had poor boundaries in his attachment to Frank. Daniel doesn't seem to have a lot of friends, and my heart goes out to him. So anyway, Frank and I had a beautiful little space, and Daniel immediately asked if he can have his name on one of the utility bills so he could claim residency at our place. He said he wanted to see a doctor, and he needed to live within the doctor's zip code to be able to see him. I went to give him the benefit of a doubt, but I've been sick all my life and just went through cancer treatment, which means lots and lots of doctors. I've never heard of anything like a speci specialist only seeing patients with a certain zip code, but mm -hmm. maybe I'm wrong. Also, we live in a place known for great medical support. Okay. Okay. Cut to two weeks later, we moved in and Daniel, two hours away, asked Frank to look at an apartment for him. Frank goes to see and remarks that it doesn't have laundry included, and Daniel responds, Oh, that's no problem. I'll just be doing laundry at your place. I think whatever higher power that Frank woke up to this boundary, trampling and told him no. That night, we found out Daniel hadn't been paying, preparing to apply for the apartment, but he made Frank feel bad because he was devastated. He said he'd been planning to move out there within the next two week or two, and now his plans were ruined. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Frank was sad because his brother was sad, and I, and I, this was the first time I clocked Daniel as being emotionally manipulative. Mm. Dude hadn't even seen the apartment, prepared his finances, or talked to the landlord of the place Frank checked out, yet he was devastated it didn't work out. Hmm. Now for some backstory. Daniel's the golden child of the family. Spared from the abuse Frank endured from his father, their dad used his emotions to control Frank, and I've started to see his control in Daniel, Daniel mm. albeit pity rather than anger. Their mom is genuinely kind and lovely, and I can see where Frank gets that from. However, when I went with Frank to visit their family home, this mom, uh, his mom talked about Daniel constantly. Things like Daniel's so smart, Daniel taught himself to read through video games, etc, etc, etc. Of course, I wanted to get to know Daniel and the family, but I'm dating Frank and I would have loved to hear more about him. It was the same when his mom came to help us move. While totally selfless and greatly appreciated, she talked about Daniel through most of our conversations. Oh, God. I don't think Frank is aware of the depth of his family dynamic, but he is th in therapy now uh, for how his dad treated him. Okay, good. Mm, okay, good. That's Back to the present. Daniel was invited to sleep over at our place. What the? Oh. Uh, uh, okay. okay. After we got okay. settled in our new home, I was already uncomfortable with him at this point, not just because of the con uh, continual sexual comments, but also because of all the weird ways he tried to claim residency with us. Mm -hmm. Frank loved Daniel, and I didn't want to impede their relationship. I thought about spending all the Friday night slash Saturday out of the house, but I decided against it in favor of trying to bond with Daniel. I wasn't going; it wasn't going to happen if I was avoiding him. So I walked into the house after work. Two of our cats are fighting, and Daniel opens the evening with a joke. "Quote, lol." I'm not going to say that. It's a really political joke. Like, really bad. Okay, well, if you guys want to read it, go over to our, ins our not Instagram, our yeah. YouTube and click click the link to this, actually, this it's deal. It's actually really bad. I'm not going to say it. It's a really bad political joke. Okay. Oh, I think I, I think I, I think I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Insert here. Um, a joke. Insert really bad political joke referencing something relating to a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can put together okay. the dots there. He then segues into talking about relationships. Normal. Okay. How he's bisexual. Uh, how he wants to move to another city with a thriving kink scene. Oh Three my years god. Ago, he was devastated he didn't get that apartment. Dude has been bringing up his kinks with his brother and I since I met him. Talking about he's a twink and naming characters. 
characters, things, after kinks, etc. Not normal. We get dinner and proceed to plan, play tabletop games together. Then okay. it started. Oh no! It's like, oh, this is a roller coaster. <laughs> this is such a roller Goodness. coaster. Okay. Oh my god! It's a Wattpad story. Okay. Wattpad story, but, but replace the brothers with the supernatural it. brothers, and it makes everything okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you probably already saw our Wattpad episode if you're watching this one in chronological mm-hmm. order through them. Mm-hmm. If not, go back and check that one out. Yeah, it's, it's a funny one. Here. It's a good one. Okay, then it started. Daniel's board was stacked and was doing well. I was like, Daniel, how did your board get so crazy? In a complimentary, there are crushing this kind of game kind of tone. Daniel responds, lol, I was keeping everything in my ball sack. <laughs> he then proceeded to talk about sex jokes for three hours, unprovoked, talking about sex nonstop. There was no other conversation talking about his dick, balls, fucking kinks. Frank seemed out of it, so super focused on the game, and I quickly disassociated and I was sexually abused by a family member as a child. Yes, I'm in therapy for PTSD. Oh, wow. Okay. No one was responding to Daniel, so we kept asking Frank for validation, like, hey, that was a funny joke, right? And then would say something else inappropriate. Frank continued to not respond while I kept my head down. My mind was in a perpetual loop. After Daniel would make a comment, I'd convince myself that I misheard it and it wasn't a big deal. Mm -hmm. Then he would say something wild again. That night, all I could think about was Daniel doing weird shit like jacking off on the couch and rubbing semen on things, etc. I get out of the house ASAP. I'm laughing because I'm kind of uncomfortable reading that. Yeah. I get out of the house ASAP the next morning and stay out until he left. I was heavily disassociated for all of Saturday, in brackets. Uh-huh. I'm working through this specific issue in therapy right now, a bracket. Okay. And I decided I needed to talk to Frank about how Daniel acted that night before. We sat down outside that evening, and I told Frank how his brother brother's deluge. Delusional. Delude. Del- oh, like were they trying to do alluded? Too? Yeah, I think alluded uh, or like divulging of sexual conversation. I think okay. that's what they meant. Okay. Of sexual conversation made me uncomfortable. Frank took it surprisingly well and affirmed that some of the things his brother said made him uncomfortable too. I brought up that he asked to be in a threesome with us under the guise of just a joke and that he frequently talked about the three of us being sexual together in a group text. Frank said he had no idea how to handle it and that he needed time to think. He also said he didn't notice Daniel being over-sexual when it was just the two of them, which I thought about might be an implication that he thought the issue was that Daniel was interested in me. Mm. I don't agree, but I didn't say anything at the time. Yeah. A few days later, Frank told me he'd made plans with his brother later this week to talk about how that night made him feel. I wanted to address that I think he was sexually fixated on Frank, that he brought up being bisexual and over all his kinks at the start of our first sleepover together, that he literally asked to be in a threesome with us, that he frequently referred to himself as I and Frank's little sluts, in quotes. Which to your brother is is crazy. Weird. Okay, here's the kicker. Are they Frank from agreed. Alabama? No, okay. no their health care is good. They can't be. Yeah, no. <laughs> they must be from not the U.S. if their health care is good. <laughs> Frank agreed. A bunch of memories came back to him, and he started to remember how inappropriate Daniel would be around him. He shares some of the memories with me. The first time he met Daniel's ex, Amanda, they wanted to talk spoilers about a show Daniel wasn't caught up on. So... They asked Daniel to leave the room for five minutes, and when Daniel came back in, he made a joke about them making up. From how Frank framed the situation, it sounded like Amanda had seen the same weird threesome shit I've been dealing with. It's clear to me now that Daniel has a sexual fixation on his brother, and I'm absolutely disgusted, as you should be. Mm -hmm. I can't find any resources for an adult wanting to fuck their sibling. Oh my god. I told Frank that I won't be around Daniel if he continues to talk like this. Yeah. But honestly, I want to go no contact now. He said a lot about other inappropriate things I did not include. I don't 
know how to do Reddit. I know Frank will be understanding that devastated if I go no contact with Daniel. His extended family, brackets, who are normal and wonderful, in bracket, mm -hmm. are frequently having events and mine is thousands of miles away, so no contact with Daniel will be very difficult. How do I navigate this relationship going forward? Thanks for reading if you get this. If you get this far, cheers, OP. I think they're going to be either like UK or Australia. That's my guess too. Uh, yeah. The way that they 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 were typing too, that like the way they were speaking. I don't. Mm -hmm. If they're Australian, they d didn't use a lot of Australian lingo. They might be Australian though. Yeah. Um, or I could see New Zealand, or I could see from the also UK. Healthcare. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be honest. America doesn't have really good healthcare, and by America's the way, that healthcare talking, sucks. I think, I think it's a little overseas too, but regardless, like, yeah, I think it's not um, in the US, but wow okay I'm so sorry i would just say break up and cut your losses and move on babe you're 31 yeah. you're young 31 young live your life <laughs> okay here's the thing i get it seems like she's really in love with her significant yeah. other and she really like yeah. talked him up in the beginning to be like i don't want to break up um so if you don't want to break up alternative would be to cut the brother out of their life um yeah. move possibly move and i mean if move closer to if, your family if, if you frank, have a good relationship with your family yeah if frank is willing to go no contact with the brother because he's on the same page that the brother is inappropriate mm -hmm. then i could see the relationship moving forward but if he yeah. is not willing to go no contact with the brother and still mm -hmm. involve him in your life that's rough lord forbid you have kids at one point with frank mm -hmm. and daniel's still in the picture i would not feel safe with my kids being around someone like no. that not at no. all he would, would be the creepy sick. uncle that does stuff to their no, to the nieces and nephews um i'll put a trigger warning <laughs> by the way before this yeah, so definitely yeah i'll yeah, put a trigger warning be before each of these part. stories of like the first one will yeah. be death trigger Thanks. warning this one yeah. it'll be a couple trigger warnings um all, and all the yeah it's just triggering just, just this is just a triggering story just, okay uh -huh. so the in the comments there's a couple of ideas a couple of theories mm -hmm. All of this, mind you, is just a theory, alleged. Yeah. These are all comments under the Allegedly. Post. Allegedly. Um, one of the top ones, which has a lot of upvotes. I bet the dad abused Frank, but molested Daniel. Mm. From how the dynamic sounds, mm -hmm. according to this commenter. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm usually a straight shooter and call inappropriate behavior out, but it's so tricky around Daniel because of his family worshiping him and how attracted he is to Frank. I'm terrified I'll blame, I'll be blamed by the family for the inevitable distance, distance between the brothers. Mm -hmm. I really like their mom and extended family, and my family is thousands of miles away. Okay, so that was the OP responding. Okay. okay. Thousands of miles away, they might be... They're either cross country or they might be in a different country entirely. Different country. Yeah. So the OP is responding. Um, okay. So somebody responded to what I just read and they mm -hmm. said, it will blame you no matter what. So stop wasting your energy trying to uh, accumulate good yeah. will from people who would turn on their so other son. You will need to be immune no matter how much you gift them. Mm hmm op response you're right i need to accept the reality that daniel's behavior has been dismissed while others have been blamed it's likely the same will happen with this thanks for your comment i think i'm starting to wake up to the harsh reality of the situation mm. okay mm -hmm. okay wow okay yeah i stand yeah. by our advice of like either you need to break it off or you need to get on the same page as your partner and cut out maybe their entire family mm -hmm. it, it seems like they're enabling daniel's behavior just like they possibly enabled the dad's behavior in the past um mm -hmm. and so an update an update yeah friday so okay. this was supposed to 21 hours ago from okay. when we're filming and this is um i think so and commenter and frank isn't upset at all that his brother is being creepy with you op responds i think frank is upset but he needs therapy his trauma response is to push everything down but mm. the fact that he validated my feelings and made a plan to confront his brother about it on friday is encouraging i'll update with the aftermath of the conversation so on friday which is tomorrow for us um we're gonna get that and we might 
Let me get. Oh my gosh. In the bottom. Yeah. Like, we'll link oh, all these stories in the description. Um, so if you want to see the update, it'll be linked in the description. Yeah. Um, yeah. If OP we do a part OP two, if we do a part two to relationship advice, if you guys would like to see part two, we could read yeah. the update in the next part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so solidifying boundaries with Dan with Daniel mm -hmm. with Frank and she's waking up too. She might need to break it off mm -hmm. with them because it sounds like the brother isn't fully convinced to drop it. But yeah, when I told you it was wild, because I already knew it was going to be some A crazy lot. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Goodness so, gracious. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think the only the only real advice with that one cut your losses mm -hmm. because figure if out who old. you're not safe around yeah basically who doesn't have and your the best fact, interest the fact that you know and like obviously family relationships are very messy and tricky mm -hmm. regardless but it will really come down to can your boyfriend mm -hmm. cut that out of the life yeah and move on because <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm. some of those lines i was reading uncomfy yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. anyways wow okay so let's go ahead and move on this one is a yeah. little lighter still a little serious but not it doesn't seem like it's gonna be as serious as that one was uh -huh. um so sister-in-law 31 female did not invite me 23 female to her baby shower mother-in-law 56 female revealed why Ooh. This is a small edit at the beginning of the post just to clear a couple things up uh, because it seemed confusing. Um, I already knew I was not invited to the baby shower. It happened over a month ago. Um, I respected the choice. Uh, it was the reasoning behind it that hurt me. Um, also, the cake referenced in the story was not an actual cake. It was full of diapers in the shape of a cake. Sorry for the confusion. So it was like a baby shower like joke okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. As the title says, I was not invited to my sister-in-law's baby shower. At first, I thought it wasn't even happening because I had not heard anything. I asked her months ago if she was having one and was excited to make her a diaper cake with different bits and bobs for my son, my soon-to-be nephew. Um, come to find out, it was a woman's only baby shower where I was the only woman who was not invited. My mother-in-law revealed my sister-in-law felt that I quote unquote did not like her and that my vegan ethics would come up at her baby shower more speculation of how I would behave and never been confrontational with her on it um mm -hmm. additionally she said that every time I look at her she feels I am judging her this was all revealed in confidence to my mother-in-law, but my mother-in-law felt so bad, she told my partner. So she didn't even hear this from her mother-in-law. She heard it from her partner. Oh. Okay. Okay. A little background about our relationship. We have never been super close, but I always make an effort to invite her to things. I'm American okay. and only speak English, and she's European. Uh, she speaks a European language, being um, intentionally vague so that she doesn't know that the story's about her. She isn't the best at speaking English, which I think was very um, often a barrier, uh, but she is good enough to have surface level conversations, which is good enough for me. And when we go on family outings, she has had a very, and when we go on family outings, she has had a very tense relationship with my partner and they seem to clash quite often, mostly over um. her wacky anti-vax views and other unfounded holistic beliefs, which having a scientific mm. background, I have bitten my tongue on many occasions. Once I tried to correct mm. her politely and she sort of ghosted the convo. Despite all this, mm. I find it to be really hurtful, um, a really hurtful exclusion because I do consider her family. I have been around her for nearly a decade and I want to be involved in my nephew's life. Um, how would you I'll proceed in a situation like this. I plan to still make a diaper cake for her, um, but not sure if I should ever even mention being hurt. I don't know if she would even be receptive and I wouldn't reveal that I know the reasons for her excluding me. I already, I was already hurt before my mother-in-law revealed why the baby was also due any day now and it would be a while before I ever mentioned it if I were to. Very curious if any of you have been in this situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
first and foremost, um, I feel like we're missing a lot of context on their relationship. Yeah. Um, I... It's kind of, it's very hearsay. Um, mm-hmm. And I, there's got to be something else to why she feels so judged. Maybe it's because of yeah. their differing beliefs and the fact that she is so holistic um, mm-hmm. with her beliefs um, and the and, OP isn't. You know, it, honestly, it honestly could be that it sounds like the sister-in-law might not speak English very well either. She doesn't. That's 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 what they're saying. Yeah. The sister-in-law yeah. So yeah, speaks a European could, language. It could have, it could have been mm-hmm. something as easily as a misunderstanding mm-hmm. that True. never was voiced. Because, again, they don't know. Yeah. Like, that is so, weird, though, I, that they were the only woman in the family know. not invited. That's like a big yeah. statement. Um, and it's not because she's far away, I don't think. I think they probably have other mm-hmm. American family members. Yeah. Um, or possibly, I don't know. They might not. She might be the only American uh, in that. That's a it woman in the like she family. Too. Yeah, she like married into a European yeah. family. So, um, so that might be it. It's because then... she would have to travel overseas, and so she was like, "Well, well, if she still lives in Europe, to be fair, she might live yeah. in the U.S. and just not speak a lot of English." Yeah. So I'm not sure. Um, I feel like I need a little bit more context. But I feel like in context. Yeah, but from the advice I would give the OP um mm-hmm. is to just not take it to heart and I wouldn't bring it up personally. I would take it as like yeah. a okay, we're just not gonna be as close as I thought we were gonna be. That's what I would personally do though. Like I'm very non confrontational, I don't like talking about that kind of stuff. But yeah. you know I think, I think I would talk about it with my significant other. Yes. Because he would know obviously his sister and his mother yeah assuming that the partner or would, just the partner yeah, so sister and mother um he would know them more mm-hmm. and maybe be able to clarify yeah why they felt like that maybe you know and it could have just been something as simple as maybe it was like something in passing she said or did you know maybe action. it's like maybe the op is a little judgy and she doesn't think she is. Because I know plenty of people that are just, like, kind of inherently, they kind of, they're and, a little judgmental. And it could, and it could have honestly been mm-hmm. a comment she made towards someone else that the sister-in-law heard. And was just mm-hmm. like, I don't like that. True. It could have been something she heard from mm-hmm. down the grapevine. Uh, just like yeah. OP hearing that yeah. the reason why she wasn't invited through the grapevine. Um, yeah. I also will say about the whole, like... Um, the whole different views on vaccinations and stuff. Um, I have different views on vaccinations than some of my extended family members uh, because mm-hmm. it's just like they're very uh, hippie holistic as well. Um, but there's never like bad blood between that. Um, yeah. We just kind of just don't talk about it. We just yeah. kind of know that we have different opinions on it. It's kind of like politics. Po- po- politics. Mm-hmm. Politics as well is like if I have different political views than like my family, extended family, mm-hmm. friends, we just don't really talk about it. We just kind of like... <laughs> If we want to have a, a mature conversation about it, cool. But, like, if it starts to become an argument, we're like, hey, let's, let's like, not talk about this. Let's, like, yeah, talk let's about something else. Because our mm-hmm. relationship is so good outside of that. That it's, like, why mess it up with this one topic that we don't see eye to eye on? Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, base values. I will say she did say wacky anti-vax views, which they are a little wacky, I, from yeah. my personal opinion. But, like... That's a little I, judgy to say that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, Just because she said that like in this, which thing. Yeah. Yeah. From, because like how she was phrasing it, she might have said something that just people, really rubbed them wrong. Yeah. When people are writing these stories, they want to make themselves look the best. Just subconsciously. They want to mm-hmm. make themselves look the best. Yeah. Um, even if you're trying your best, like you're trying your hardest to be as unbiased in your, mm-hmm. your story, you're still going to be a little yeah. biased towards yourself. And Obviously. so like. The fact that she even included wacky in there makes me feel like it's a little like maybe maybe she does say yeah. something about it and it got through the grapevine and now she feels judged. Um, mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's I feel like, again, I need more context. Some of these comments. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm so this is something that OP responded to. So I want to read this original comment real quick. Uh, I'm so confused on how you two have been family for nearly a decade um look you two don't respect one another and mostly don't like each other 
her failing to invite you to the shower was poor form on her part and a pretty aggressive move. Being that kind yeah. of uh, exclusive towards a family member makes a really clear statement and it's petty and it's harmful. I, I really wouldn't bother with the diaper cake. She won't appreciate the effort that goes into it. Uh, just drop by a regular gift whenever you're allowed to meet the baby. Um, <laughs> and who hopefully won't get whooping cough or measles. <laughs> that was not necessary. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That wasn't not necessary, but okay. Um, I, okay. And OP responded, they've been with their partner for eight years, hence the yeah. decade comment. Uh, we've yeah. been together since we were teenagers. Also, you're right. I think that it hurts uh, the most is despite how my disagreements, uh, despite my disagreements, uh, I would never not invite her to my baby shower. So that's kind of why it hurt yeah. her, I guess, is because it was like, even though we don't agree on certain stuff, I wouldn't have not invited her just because of that. And that I understand. That is hurtful. Um, yeah. And I don't know. It's just, it just, it does, it does feel like we're missing a lot of context on like specifics of any, any like, what exactly was the conversation about the holistic beliefs? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Because as much as like, I think it's like, whatever, like I have my own opinions when I'm talking to said family members that don't agree with me on that, like, I still, like, they try not to judge me as much as I try not to judge them. And that's all that it should be. If it's not an mm -hmm. equal amount of, like, trying not to judge each other. Now, it could be that the uh, sister-in-law feels judged, but also she's kind of judging the, her, you know, the OP as well. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a, a two-way judgment and so it's kind of like maybe it would just be best for us not to be close yeah it just sounds like they just don't get along it's just, that's yeah. fine yeah it's just i wouldn't fun. make i wouldn't make the cake that's that's kind of yeah. weird it's like she made just, a statement by not inviting you um, yeah i would just cut your losses and then be like hey i'm gonna yeah. buy a gift and you know maybe even ask your partner to just drop it off yeah you yeah. know but also but, um the OP responded to a comment being like, um, by the way, the diaper cake, it's a bunch of diapers in the shape of a cake to be like, here's diapers, you'll need them. But it just makes it a little like more sweet, I guess, of like, yeah, it's like in a fun little shape. I just get her a normal gift. Personally, I wouldn't yeah. put in the effort to make her a cake. Or just if I, a gift card, gift yeah, card for baby item. Yeah, honestly, money. Put it in a card, <laughs> ship it to her. Yeah. yeah. I... And if you really, if it's something that like, because there's like two different ways to react to stuff like this. Like I'm thinking if I mm -hmm. wasn't invited to the family member that I think I have a good relationship with, who doesn't see eye to eye on those kinds of things with me, I would be a little hurt and I would think that it's out of nowhere. And so like, I'm trying to like put myself in that shoe of like, I like, I obviously haven't said anything bad about it, but like, mm -hmm. I would probably just send a normal gift and like, probably not talk about it like, yeah. anymore i'd probably just like leave it there and be like okay i guess we're not close okay cool but i know yeah. there's some people where they're like they have to talk about it with that person but i'm i'm just kind of the person where unless you're like my significant other my parents my siblings like yeah unless you're like super immediate in my life and i choose for the for you to be in my life continually um I don't really stress about it too much, but me neither. Yeah, yeah. we would love to know your opinions. Yeah, comments down below. Yeah, about all judgment free space. I mean, judgment free space. Judgment free. Just your opinions, your takes. Yeah, your advice. Actually, mm -hmm. what you would give them. I. That second story was so wild. Yeah, I. Oh my god! I didn't even know. I was reading that. I was like, oh, this is not what I. I was expecting. Uh -huh. I was expecting a little like, oh, passing joke. I wasn't expecting a whole lore drop, yeah. trauma dump. Goodness. Yeah. yeah. We'll definitely be Good. adding in uh, trigger warnings. warnings, trigger warnings, as well as yep. I might believe a couple Maybe words. Maybe timestamps. Uh, yeah. yeah time I'll, stamps, I'll add in timestamps. I'll probably just do like a little excerpt of me mm -hmm. in the future editing, being like trigger warnings for this uh, this story are yeah. X Y Z. Skip to this time code to skip that story 
Yeah. Um, and then it goes straight to the next trigger warning. <laughs> trigger warnings for this story are uh, anti-vax. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> this was a good episode. I liked it. I liked this was that. so I've fun. I've been to do it for a while. So yeah, we've been Love really, we've it. been itching to do this type yeah. of episode for a while. We love some good drama, some good tea. That's not us. Truly. We like tea of other people. What if we do an episode where we, because I know in the last the the am i the asshole reactions mm. we talked about possibly doing an episode where we read am i the asshole submitted by viewers we could just yeah. do advice like stories submitted by viewers we read on this yeah. on the podcast well, like, I've, seen, I've seen some segments of it's just like a confessional you know oh my god like yes darkest conf- your guys's darkest confessions we could make that yeah. an episode so yeah we have a we business a uh we have a business uh oh google form we could totally do a google, yeah, google form just make it anonymous yeah. and, people can their stories and just get advice for it yeah and if they want us to call us something we can call them yeah. that and then if they want to keep it anonymous yeah we'll do that let too. us know in the email though not the email but the yeah. form i'll make yeah form i'll make a form for that yeah, yeah. and then okay. maybe just like if you want our opinions our takes our advice mm-hmm. just want to tell a story to tell a story on mm-hmm. something you want us to talk about <laughs> uh-huh we've been more than happy yeah um truly yeah. yeah make sure to comment like and subscribe if you're on youtube and yeah, then become a bestie. Us. Mm-hmm. yeah we're playing on some really fun stuff honestly this has been so fun thank you guys for being a part of this journey with us um the next time we record the first episode will be out Oh my god! Because we did a lot of pre-recording, so every episode until yeah. now has been pre-recorded. Besides last week, last week will probably be recorded. Oh, just the one. Yeah. yeah, I'm just the one off. Yeah, so we'll have like the reaction. I wonder what's yeah. gonna happen. If you, <laughs> there's gonna Me be too. like, fr- there's gonna be like a Reddit for our, uh, for our podcast yeah. eventually where people submit stories but they also have like yeah. the chronological timeline of when we <laughs> recorded these episodes what, when we like, actually you know the know actual everything. timeline yeah yeah because we're right, right episode, now we're trying to the nick guess. episode yeah 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 but i'm Anyways. so excited for for this to come out next week we should definitely um do a little do celebration or something <gasps> yes. yes yeah i'm gonna make some like short Just form stuff. content stuff yeah anyways we'll stop rambling yeah. you guys' ears off we'll yes. see you next tuesday as per usual bye bestie